In today's video, I will teach you how to prepare graphics for printing using Photopea. Let's get started. Preparing your graphics for printing requires specific settings to ensure the highest quality output. With Photopea, you can easily set up your images according to common requirements for printing companies. First, open Photopea, then go to File, then Open, and select the image you want to prepare for printing. Now navigate to Image, then Image Size from the top menu. In the Image Size window, set the units to inches or millimeters depending on your needs. Then enter the width and height for your image. For example, 10 inches by 15 inches. Then set the DPI or dots per inch, which affects print quality. For high quality printing, you can use 300 DPI. Then click OK to apply the changes. Higher DPI values improve print quality, but they also increase file size. So make sure your image has proper resolution to avoid pixelation. Historically, printing companies requested TMYK mode. However, this is less common today because of the advancements in color management. Modern printers can handle a wide range of color profiles, making it unnecessary to manually switch to CMYK in most cases. But Photopea stores all files in sRGB color space. You can discuss specific ICC profiles with your printing company if they need precise color management. And to avoid color discrepancies, ensure your colors appear accurate on your screen before printing. And take note that requesting CMYK mode without specific ICC profile is often outdated, so make sure to confirm with your printing service what they need. Now we're going to export your file as a print-ready PDF. To do this, go to File, then Export As, then select PDF to open the Export dialog. For the most accurate results, check Rasterize All. This ensures that all elements in the design, including effects and images, will be preserved exactly as you see them. Now click Save to generate the PDF. This ensures the printed document look exactly like the design in Photopea, but PDF will be less editable by other programs. Alternatively, you can disable Raster All and enable Vectorized Text. This keeps the file size smaller, but effects like drop shadows and filters may not be preserved. So make sure there are no special effects in your design and review the PDF preview to confirm the output, then click Save to export. And for minimal file size, disable all checkboxes in the export dialog. This will remove special effects and all text will be rendered in times font. This option works best for simple graphics without text or complex effects. Then save the file as a PDF. And you're done! If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.